All right, so we know fall officially begins tomorrow, right? But this is what the rest of the year looks like, my friends. When you look at the countdown of holidays, it's like we are running out of years. So the one that I want to zero in on is Christmas time. Ooh. I want to know if Favorite. anybody at this table has bought at least one Christmas present. Not me. I, I told you guys, I kind of wait till the you week of, the uh -huh. week before. No, I have not. <laughs> This year, I Chad have. Chad Silver? I have, yep. Oh, really? wow. Nice. So you buy for throughout the year? No, not for Charlotte. No. Oh, for okay. my mother, actually. Oh, oh. hey, mom, where'd you <laughs> get you? <ya? laughs> All right, well, Christmas may be the furthest thing from your mind, but thousands of folks have been making Christmas ornaments already. Here's why. I want you to check these out. These are handmade ornaments from natural materials. Now these, I'm going to show you first. We're going to bring each one first. This is UNCG Ooh. students at the Grogan Residence Hall. They painted pieces of wood. Now these lighthouses are oh. made from repurposed toilet paper rolls. Oh. These are kids from Forsyth County 4-H. And then the last group of pictures, these are paw print ornaments that were made by visitors to the North Carolina Zoo in Asheboro. Why were they made? Here's why. Rest assured, these ornaments will adorn a Christmas tree in Washington, D.C., whether it's the U.S. Capitol tree or one of the many others that will go throughout Washington, D.C. Yeah, so this year, North Carolina's Christmas tree was picked to be the Capitol tree. Mm -hmm. And then as tradition goes, the state gets to make the ornaments to put on the tree. Wow, oh. that's really cool. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. I love the little lighthouses, too. Those are really cute. Those are super kids. cute. That's I like lighthouses. Yeah, I like the wooden ones at the end. Those are cute. Mm -hmm. I, haven't, I haven't made an ornament since I was a kid. Same. Seriously, we should do that. And they were all really bad. <laughs> <laughs> did it have your, your school picture prints. in the middle and, like, the popsicle sticks around uh, yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Or your handprint, you know. Yep. Yeah. What I made as a turkey. A turkey, yes, yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> all right, so um, now these ornaments, everybody was able to make them and send them in by September the 1st. They said they got 7,500 ornaments and they're still counting. <laughs> wow. That's a few ornaments, friends. Uh huh. We should have made some. We should have some made four some. Four to we five ones. We still have time to do them just for. We'll do a four we to five tree. We could do a four tree. to five tree. Yes, yeah. we'll do a Charlie Brown tree. And I would like to see your face in the middle of popsicle sticks, please. <laughs> <laughs> from first grade? Or yes. 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 All right, so the Forest Service <laughs> takes the tree from Western North Carolina to the Capitol, but it goes on a state tour first. So this is what I want to show you. You probably have your phone nearby, snap a pic, or go to your calendar and mark this down because the North Carolina Christmas tree uh, tour starts in early November, and the tree hits cities all along the way. And what I did was I highlighted the ones that were closest to us Wednesday, November 9th. It's going to be in Mount Airy, Yay. your hometown. Yeah. Um, and then on Thursday, November 10th, it will be at the North Carolina Zoo. And I've got all these details in the two wants to know section for you. Merry Christmas.